Hi, my name's Emily and we have Becca on the left. We are consultants at HMY Management and we are going to be presenting to you today. We will be open to answering any questions at the end. Why are we here? We are here today to present a review of Greg's Bakery's current strategic agility and focus on strategic options to identify ways to drive sustainable competitive advantage for Pound Shop Bakery. We will be giving you an overview of the organisation, presenting an external environmental analysis, explaining the strategic capability of Greg's and then presenting to you three strategic options with our recommendation. In 2019, sales grew by 13.5% to £1,167.9 million. Like for like, sales grew by 9.2% to £987.8 million. Underlying profit before tax was £114.2 million, which is an increase of 27.2% from the previous year. Greg's established 81 years ago. They currently have 2,039 shops, including 319 franchise units. Greg serve over 6.5 million customers a week and own all of their supply chain. In the market, Greg's are currently number one for sandwiches, number two for breakfast and lunch, and third for selling coffee. Greg's serve free breakfast to 36,000 children daily through their Breakfast Club scheme. This has helped them to win awards such as Brand of the Year and Making a Difference Award. Greg's is considered to be the fastest growing fast food restaurant in the UK, therefore making its competitors other fast food outlets such as McDonald's, KFC and Burger King. When analysing the external environment, the macro factors that can impact Greg's is the economy. Greg's need to consider the economic growth rate and the business cycle rates such as a recession which reduces inflation and higher unemployment rates. These factors could cause Greg's to make less money due to consumers not spending and Greg's having to reduce investment. Environmental factors can impact Greg's such as climate change and legislation. It can be important for their brand to take action to support renewable energy, be eco-friendly and adopt waste management procedures. It can boost their brand and stakeholder satisfaction. With the UK's plan to have net zero emissions by 2050, Greg's will have to comply with this at its manufacturing sites. A micro factor that Greg's control internally is the supply chain. Greg's focus on having a competitive supply chain by investing in their own manufacturing lines. This enables them to create new products, improve efficiency, control quality and support shop growth. A well-managed supply chain can reduce operational costs. Greg's invests and develops its employees with high quality trading for members of staff at all levels. By doing this, Greg's give customers the best experience in their stores with a fast and friendly service which increases customer satisfaction. Greg's motivate staff with many employee benefits. Staff are also motivated to build customer relationships. One of the dimensions of the Ansoft Matrix is product development. Greg's have veganised three of their best-selling products as part of their strategy into an existing market expanding their range. This proved successful when sales were up 10% in the first seven weeks of trade in the new products. With successful product innovation, Greg's can utilise gaps in the market for new products and profit off this. This can be seen with the introduction of the vegan sausage rolls, after statistics show that 39% of British people are consciously trying to reduce their meat intake. Greg's have maximised their business opportunities in releasing a meat-free substitute to their best-selling product. By developing a vertically integrated production line, which means that Greg's owns all of its suppliers, this means that production costs are lower, therefore Greg's can price their products at a lower cost. In turn, this gives them a competitive advantage over the growing number of competitors joining the market and threatening profitability. New online service could potentially take away from the existing physical business. This paired with the high staff turnover rates could decrease profitability. Providing training and staff incentives could promote high levels of retention and also higher skill levels of staff. An example of this is a £300 bonus 25,000 members of staff at Greg's received after a record-breaking year in 2019. Greg's have been able to take advantage of a new customer base by developing an online delivery service with the company Just Eat. This has encouraged efficiency within the Greg's company by the investment of new technology and has especially been important when considering the effects of COVID-19 and how the business has had to overcome the challenges it brought, such as store closures over periods of lockdown. 
By creating a large customer base, Greggs have been able to decrease the buyer's bargaining power and therefore take pressure off their profitability. By innovating and producing new products, this can prevent customers from seeking a discount on existing products. This highlights how Greggs operate in a red ocean strategy where they compete in an established market in order to beat the competition. The first strategic option for Greggs would be to have a full vegan plant-based range of all its current products. The number of vegans in the UK has increased by 62% over the past 12 months and continues to rise. During the pandemic, people's food choices have changed with 1 in 5 Britons reducing their meat intake and 15% reducing their dairy intake. The second strategic option would be for Greggs to install an automated format like food vending machines. These are a success in Amsterdam and could be placed in Greg's city stores, freeing up staff to serve hot drinks and other items while giving the customer an even more food on the go experience. This option could completely reduce waiting times for pasties and desserts. Another option we have looked into is Greg's introducing a range of products to be individually sold in supermarkets. This would make their products more widely accessible to customers. Not only would it increase the number of locations Greg's produce is stocked in, it also may target a new customer base that may not usually consider shopping at a fast food restaurant but would buy the products from a supermarket. The strategic option that me and Rebecca would recommend is for Greg's to install an automated format like the food vending machines. We feel this option fits with Greg's current strategy and aims to be the market leader for food on the go while also increasing profits and meeting the needs of the customer. Thank you for listening today. We will now answer any questions.